Wow, that looks a bit spooky now. Look at that. You see people just queuing up, actually uh, going in. And that certainly looks a bit eerie. And welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to start off in the uh, South Shore area. And we're starting off at the old Woolworth site. So we haven't been here for quite a long time. And you can see how work has progressed in the, about, a couple, about two, three weeks or since it was last year. And you can see the whole of that wall now has completely gone. It's like they've just taken the scaffolding down and the remains, and it's completely flattened uh, with gravel. And uh, yeah, it's actually completely uh, gone now. And it's like they've got scaffolding up at that wall. So I'd imagine they'd be repairing that wall because some part of that wall did fall down when they was uh, taking it down. But yeah, this is the situation at the moment of the old, uh, old uh, Woolworths. Heart sight. <laughs> so it's like some uh, repair work or possibly new lines is going up just on the corner. Um, and we'll just whip the camera around just to the, uh, the left hand side because this is where the, uh, where it's just completely gone. It's unrecognizable, shall I say. Well, it looks like some work is, uh, is possibly even going on with this one because uh, like I said, a part of this building came down in the removal of the, uh, the bricks. And uh, I'd imagine that's just like it's all being pointed and make, just make sure everything's secure on that one. And uh, let's just go a little, a little more forward towards the uh, site. The uh, work is still being carried out. I imagine they're just uh, finishing off the last touches. And uh, yeah, so it's a total end of an era. So just a bit of an update. We're not going to hang around too long. Just a bit of an update on the, uh, the famous Woolworth site in Blackpool. So we are going to carry on because we've got a bit of a story in regards to the, uh, the Pleasure Beach Resort. So we'll cover that one um, now. So you can see that's the uh, last bit of scaffolding just coming down on the, uh, that little roadside. And uh, it looks like they're just pointing a wall just to make everything uh, secure. So yeah, this is supposed to be coming flat to the car park. So uh, not too sure what the plans are at the moment, if that's still on the cards or, uh, or what. But yeah, as soon as we know, we'll, uh, we'll let you know as well. And don't forget about the uh, Monster Hunt, which is the 28th of October to the 3rd of November. So if you fancy taking part in that one, I'll pop all the information into uh, the description. That is going to be an absolute epic event. Really, really good. So yeah, we just approached uh, South Pier. And uh, look at them, uh, look at that sky and the clouds. That's a, a stunning view. So we don't normally sort of venture up the, uh, the south way. But yeah, this is a South Pier. We'll have a, not a look on the pier, but around the pier. But just look at the uh, view on that one. How magnificent. You see the, the sky all lit up. And the, the fantastic blues and the greys, all sorts, all rolled into one. And uh, again, that's a, another great, great pier of Blackpool. And just looking back at the, uh, the tower, it just looks like a, a very small little like, pin in the, in the distance. That's how far we travel. You see all the huge hotels. We've got the Queen, we've got the Viking Hotel. We've got them all up this way. Like I said, amazing views, uh, all these hotels. But like I said, uh, we're going to head on towards the, uh, the Pleasure Beach and uh, explore a little bit up this way. Because like I said, there is a bit of news. Oh, it's also old news, a couple of days old, uh, where there was panicking a bit, the owners of Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So we'll let venture on uh, further on. And you see another fantastic slice. That looks like a monster, but uh, it's not. So this isn't part of the, uh, the monster hunt, but yeah, what a great little uh, attraction uh, for the, uh, the family just on the South Pier. And welcome to the uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach Resort. So alarm bells are ringing with the, uh, the owners um, over this one because a company they used um, who sort of, you know, looks after all the uh, alarms uh, and electrical um, items and tests, etc. Um, they went into administration, so luckily the Blackpool Pleasure Beach, they managed to scramble and find another company. 
which was called Quest Electrical, and they're actually based in um, Burnley. So they stepped in at very, very short notice uh, and completed all the checks um, and deemed it safe for the uh, company in the Pleasure Beach um, to uh, carry on. So I'm just going to move forward on this one, but yeah, so like I said, they, they carried out this uh, detailed inspection. Uh, and also, you know, there's other companies where this, uh, this one went into administration, um, so, you know, was, was dealing with, you know, including like the Globe Theatre and several nearby properties, including a 1930s Art Deco former casino, uh, an ice arena, all sorts. So I imagine they would have been uh, very, very busy, you know, for, the, uh, for them few weeks or few days, shall I say, because like I said, without that, um, you know, the, uh, it wouldn't have been able to uh, operate you know, due to sort of health and safety and everything. But yeah, so this is the Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And uh, like I said, in fact, there's a, there's a one just coming up. So we'll just uh, hang fire while it comes down. And uh, there you go, you see the, the top of it just going right up. So I'd imagine that'll be coming down soon. So we'll probably just uh, hang fire. Is it coming down or has it gone the other way? I think it's actually gone the other way. So yeah, let me know if you've been on the uh, Pleasure Beach. And in fact, here it comes. There we go. Let's see everyone happy and screaming. Look at that. There we go. So yeah, you wouldn't see uh, you wouldn't see me on that one. And there it comes down again. We'll just follow it down. And there he goes. So yeah, that's the uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach Road. So like I said, alarm bells were ringing. Imagine uh, you know the uh, the owners or the management waking up and saying, oh, you know the company's gone into uh, administration. And this is also a little great feature. So it's like a, a huge water fountain. And you see all the water coming up in the evening and it all lights up. And that's a, a cracker of a little uh, thing. Um, and again, you see they're advertising that uh, monster hunt. There we go. You see uh, all the boards light up, advertising different things. But yeah, the monster hunt is going to be uh, an absolute fantastic experience. Like I said, everything will be in the uh, description. Um, in regards to that and just moving on a little bit forward you have a a lot of people do know uh, but some people might not know who watch the channel and we've got the uh, sandcastle water park and uh, that's been voted a fantastic attraction also you know all the uh, the many slides and the uh, the ducking and diving imagine uh, going in there for uh, for an afternoon again that's another great attraction what blackpool uh, offers and you can see the uh, Pleasure Beach is already uh, looking forward to the uh, Halloween. You see all the, uh, the ghouls and the ghosts uh, ready to uh, pop out. So that'll be uh, fantastic. So they're uh, well on top of the game. And so you see the uh, security guard there. Yeah, so like, like I said, let me know if you've been in this one. Uh, you see all the, uh, some work's being carried out on the, that one over there. You see the scaffolding right high up. So yeah, let me know if you, uh, you've been in the uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach and Resort and what did you think? Wow, that looks a bit spooky now, look at that. You see people just queuing up, actually uh, going in and that certainly looks a bit eerie. Not for me that one, not for me. So also you see all these like little fish and chips and the donut stores, the burger and fries. I'm not sure if these are ever open anymore. Uh, I don't think I've seen them open. Maybe they might open in the summertime. But yeah, I'm not too sure anymore. You see all the different ones. You've got the burgers and fries, the thirst leisure, the ice blasts. You know, you've got all sorts of prom sundries, you know, prom treats. It's like all these little uh, tiny ones. You know, are they, uh, are they still open? Or have they uh, sort of the seen better days and closed down? Just uh, a bit of a view of the uh, Sandcastle water park from the uh, opposite side. And like I said, a fantastic attraction if you haven't tried that. Great family fun and they uh, offer all sorts of meals and all sorts in there. It's an also uh, a great one. And uh, just on the uh, same side of the uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, we've got this little adventure golf. You can see that is still open, which is uh, quite surprising, uh, you know, sort of midweek. So that one's open and uh, another great little attraction. 
Uh, so I'm not too sure how much it is. Uh, I mean, in fact, it's sort of 12 pounds, so it's, uh, it's not the, uh, the cheapest. Um, a child, 10 pound. So yeah, it's not the uh, cheapest, that one. Uh, so I'd imagine you'd, uh, you'd get your money's worth, shall I say. But yeah, look how sort of stunning the uh, setting looks um, for the uh, Adventure Golf. So, like I said, you know, that lovely little stone. Look how well maintained that is. There's not a leaf on the uh, on the ground. But like I said, for the price, you'd certainly want to get your money's worth out of this one. So, this is the uh, the South Pier. So, we're not going to uh, go on today. We're going to have a, a quick look on the, uh, the side of it. And, uh, again, this is a, another great one for all the... Uh, activities you got the gin house the uh, the gin gardens you got all sorts of, you know the, all the rides the arcades uh he's even got one of those uh like string things that will propel you in the air i'm not too sure what they're called but again they've got all that at the uh, the south pier and uh, so this one you know we've put sort of several votes up and this one always comes last in regards to uh you know what people enjoy uh i guess it's more sort of the family entertainment side Whereas the, uh, the North Pier is just for relaxing and taking the views. But yeah, but again, like I said, you know, the South Pier does hold some fantastic, um, you know, sort of activities and all sorts for the uh, family to enjoy. And just looking out, seeing, see the, uh, the oranges in the sky now as the sun begins to go down. And what a lovely, lovely view that one is. All the, uh, all the different colours, all the pastels and uh, the rays of sunshine just sort of breaking through those clouds fantastic view so we'll just move the uh, the camera around to the right and uh like i said just amazing you know the clouds how they meet the sea it's fantastic and uh, like i said that's the uh, the central pier the end of central pier um as we know it And uh, directly in front, we've got the uh, the Velvet Coaster, and then another great little uh, great little pub. You can have your meals in there, your breakfasts. That's uh, a great one. And like I said, there's plenty of things to do in the South End. You know, you got all the uh, all the shops. You got you know your Mister Whippers, your Pablos. You got little arcades up this way. So there is plenty to do. Um, you know, for the family, or even a, a, you know by yourself, there's always something you can uh, you can get up to. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the video so far. We're probably coming to a bit of a close. It's just a bit of information on the um, the Pleasure Beach and that alarm company going into administration, and uh, a bit of an update on the uh, the Winter Gardens also. Uh, not the Winter Gardens. Do apologise. I'm miles away. The um, Woolworth store. Apologies for that. The uh, Woolworth store. Just a bit of an update on that one. And again, some great hotels in this area you can see a lot of them get scaffolded up and particularly my favorite is that one which is uh just opposite and you see you know it's got like balconies there and it just looks so nice but again that one's you know, not in use anymore but just next to the like the gray one just like that was a black and white one and that looks lovely but again it looks like you know it's not in use and it's a uh, part board up looks like uh, the Balkan is not exactly safe, but I mean, how lovely! It's the Sands Hotel. It looks like it's called the Sands Hotel, and that looks uh, absolutely stunning. So yeah, we're gonna move on a little bit further um, and come to a bit of close on this one. So just have a, a quick walk down Dean Street. You see these uh, fantastic little uh, B and Bs and um, you know, little hotels. In fact, we're gonna have a, a quick look at this one because this is a Someone mentioned this is a great one. It's still open. It's the uh, the Seagull's Nest Cafe. And how uh, sort of charmful does that look? Oh, that was a lovely little uh, cafe. And just imagine having your, your breakfast in there. And yeah, so just tucked away. Look how small it is. Well, it looks a, like I said, it looks a fantastic little place. And uh, just opposite is the uh, the Catch Traditional Fish and Chips. Now, this has been open a couple of months. It is relatively new. And uh, so I've never tried it in there, but yeah, another another great one just off the uh, the promenade. So let me know if you've tried the uh, the fish and chips in that one, uh, and what it's like just off at uh, Montague Street. And 
also just on Montague Street. Who knew there's a police station here? So I certainly didn't. And uh, yeah, I didn't know there's a, there's a police station here. So that's on Montague Street. Look at that. So I wonder how long that has been a police station for. Uh, looks like it's closed up. But yeah, how unusual. Like I said, I've never, never knew that one before. So I hope you enjoyed that, that bit of a walk around the, uh, the south end and uh, that bit of information. So I'm going to leave you uh, with a clip or uh, an image. Make what you want of it. But, you know, what's all that about? What's all that about up there? So I'm just walking back to the car now. So like I say, if you enjoyed the video, hit, consider hitting that subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, any comments, I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Yeah, so that is... Uh, the end of uh, this video so until next time take care of yourselves and uh, it's a bye from me bye bye